I mean to say, I'm getting 1060, I'm not going beyond that. I'm getting 1160, not going beyond that. My ward is doing very well at mathematics, but I have no idea why he's not doing good in English in both the sections, reading as well as language and writing, okay? My ward is not going beyond 1260, my ward is not going beyond 1360, okay? Even if my ward is getting a good score or say a perfect score, like many here at Test Prep Card, I have no idea how to apply for the scholarship. I have no idea about the deadlines. I have no idea what to fill in what column. Well, there are some obvious reason of the rise of SAT, a scholastic apt test in Qatar. It goes without saying that it has completely changed the educational scenario of Qatar, especially for Indian expatriates, especially for the students, Indian students who are staying in Qatar, they have studied in Qatar, right? Let's analyze the reason so that it makes a very uh, good and rational uh, sense for all of us, right? The thing is that Qatar looking into the fact that uh, per capita income, the comfort level of the people in terms of their income, it gives them a food for thought. That why not to send their wards to the best of the places in the world for education? Whether it is uh, US or uh, Singapore, if one is serious about education, right, the very first place that comes to the mind is US then it comes the Singapore, then United Kingdom. I'm talking about the engineering as well as the commerce related courses, okay? And this basically is focusing upon the wards of uh, the parents, uh, I mean the students who are going from grade 11 to grade 12 at this point of time in year 2022, right? This is a very important time for them. So in 2020, uh, change took place in whole uh, education scenario of the Middle East. That was that uh, now the J, uh, I mean to say the SAT subject test of physics, chemistry, math was abolished. And uh, J came into the picture. J is all about physics, chemistry and math, okay? I mean earlier, in order to apply under CRWG and DASA, one had to write SAT subject test, but now it's J. Now, when we talk about J, it gives a feeling that it's really something very difficult. Of course, we keep on refuting this fact that J is not a difficult thing, rather it's uh, all about subjectivity, not the difficulty. If you prepare well, you would be able to do that. But we also need to check the fact, right? This may surprise you that since last eight years, hardly, you would be finding hardly any result in IITs in double figure. Right. I don't want to quote the exact figure, but it has really been very bleak, very disappointing. Okay, that's it. Because definitely in the Middle East, you don't have uh, the culture of, uh, you know, understanding the culture of getting education through just like you get here in India. Okay, that's the thing. So what actually happened that since last two to three years, a gap was created. Okay. Now, this gap basically was sufficiently filled up with this standardized test exam that is known as SAT, okay? A scholastic aptitude test. It started 102 years ago by collegeboard.org. And the thing is that if you ask any other student what SAT is about, they would say SAT is all about math and English. So on a perfectly parallel note, we refer it, having said that SAT is not about math and English. Before writing SAT, know about the SAT. What the SAT is, right? Of course, on the front, it looks that SAT is all about math and English. But if you're not looking beyond this, it means you have not understood SAT, right? So, the reason behind the rise of this examination sat in Qatar, that this has become a household name as well as a household necessity, it's very simple that it's filling up a gap. Having written sat, you can go to the best of the places in the world like Harvard, MIT, you can go to Stanford, Carnegie, Princeton, 
for whatever stream you want, either math or science or commerce, even for art, arts related courses, whatever you want to study. You can go to Singapore, SUTD, NTU, NUS, even Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. You can go to the top universities in United Kingdom, Britain, Oxford, Cambridge, London School of Economics. And since last two years, there are eight institutions in India, and these are all centrally funded technical institutions, I mean the government institutions, which are offering you admission in these institutions on the basis of SAT. Now, you must be curious just to know what these institutions are. These are Triple IIT Hyderabad, you have DC Delhi, Delhi College of Engineering, you have NSIT Delhi, these all are in top 20. You have got VIT Vellore, you have got Ramayya Institute of Applied Sciences, you have got Ahmedabad University, you have got uh, inst Institution of Petroleum and Energy. These are very prominent and the gem of the universities, right? So what I mean to say that SAT is making you available a big cart of opportunity, right? It is being equalized uh, with those of the opportunities which are available to you through JE. So this is the time where your mind is boiling with many questions, right? With a different aspect of this examination, okay? The very first idea that comes to your mind, it's very easy, okay? I mean, I would write SAT about math and English. I would be getting this much of marks. I'll be going to this, uh, I mean, especially the Western countries, the English speaking countries. But trust me, this is a very decisive factor. And if you are thinking that having written SAT and having uh, got any score, you would be able to go to these top universities, you are pretty much mistaken. Please do not patronize under this effect that having done so, you would be able to go to the top universities, right? Now, the thing is that if you are writing SAT and if you are planning to go abroad, you need to plan the things in a very proper way, in a very cautious way. If you are patronizing under the effect that you will be going to any, uh, you know, agency, any person, any agent, any associate in Qatar, whosoever is representing a particular university in US or in Canada and all these places, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, right? Then again, I'm telling, please hold, right? And uh, I mean, of course, if you really are keen on getting the right education which would be leading to a great opportunity in future right if you plan this this all properly and of course sat is the first door that you have to knock sat is the first medicine that you have to eat right that's the first pill that you have to pop down that's it i would also like to very much clear that we are not associated with any university right anywhere we are basically the people who have gained knowledge about this sat and education abroad in a very practical way and this is the story right we would like to convey to you so that you could take the right decision all you need to do that you need to fill up a form which is given over here click on this the form will open you need to fill up all the details properly and then we would first speak with you. We would be fixing a time, a proper time, which is definitely suiting your comfort and convenience. And having done so, having spoken with you, we will send you the ticket so that you could meet with us in Qatar. Here, we are going to suggest you a lot of things, right, which are practically of your concern. It means we basically are telling you about SAT, the approach to study and this is going to answer a question which is like a conundrum to you so far i mean to say i'm getting 1060 i'm not going beyond that i'm getting 1160 not going beyond that my ward is doing very well at mathematics but i have no idea why he's not doing good in english in both the sections reading as well as language and writing okay my ward is not going beyond 1260 my ward is not going beyond 1360 okay even if my ward is getting a good score or say a perfect score, like many here at Test Prep Card, I have no idea how to apply for the scholarship. I have no idea about the deadlines. I have no idea what to fill in what column. 
when I am filling the form. I have no idea how to apply. I have no idea when to apply. I have no idea how to speak with the Department of Computer Science there at Harvard and Stanford. I have no idea how to speak with the Department of Clinical Psychology there at MIT, right, or John Hopkins. So these basically are very practical questions that pops up your mind each time when you are thinking about SAT. So in order to shun down all your confusion, meet with us. We'll give the right information so that you know, this is going to pacify all your thoughts, all your confusion. I mean, just to meet with you is going to be a game changer for you. Because the most important thing is that how to get the best of the score in SAT. If you don't have the best of the score, even if your ward is very good at math, very good at English, even if your ward understands math, understands English, your ward is not going to crack SAT. Why? Because you need to understand the right approach, right? Here in this event, we can do everything, right? From, you know, giving you all the information as well as, uh, you know, giving you the right feedback regarding your words, aptitude, mind, and brain, okay? The university is how to tap, when to apply, how to apply, where to apply, how to get the scholarship, what are the types of scholarship in all top universities, right? That is it. So this is all about the SAT festival, where the seats are limited, where you are coming to meet with us. We are sitting, we are talking about this. Okay, that's it. So please fill out the form and then we come back to you. Thank you.